Tech noir, also known as future noir and science fiction noir, is a hybrid genre of fiction, particularly film, combining film noir and science fiction, as seen in Blade Runner (1982) and The Terminator (1984). Director James Cameron coined the term in The Terminator, using it as the name of a nightclub, but also to invoke associations with both the film noir genre and with futuristic sci-fi. Precursors <inaudible> 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 Neo-noir While it is hard to draw a line between some of the noir films of the early 1960s such as Blast of Silence and Cape Fear and the noirs of the late 1950s, new trends emerged in the post-classic era. The Manchurian Candidate 1962, directed by John Frankenheimer, Shock Corridor 1962, directed by Sam Fuller, and Brainstorm 1965, directed by experienced noir character actor William Conrad, all treat the theme of mental dispossession within stylistic and tonal frameworks derived from classic film noir. The first major film to work a new angle on noir was French director Jean-Luc Godard's Breathless 1960, which pays its literal respects to Bogart and his crime films while brandishing a bold new style for a new day. In 1973, director Robert Altman, who had worked on Peter Gunn, flipped off noir piety with The Long Goodbye. Based on the novel by Raymond Chandler, it features one of Bogart's most famous characters, but in iconoclastic fashion, Philip Marlowe, the prototypical hard-boiled detective, is replayed as a hapless misfit, almost laughably out of touch with contemporary mores and morality. Where Altman's subversion of the film noir mythos was so irreverent as to anger many contemporary critics, around the same time Woody Allen was paying affectionate, at points idolatrous homage to the classic mode with Play It Again, Sam 1972. The most acclaimed of the neo-noirs of the era was director Roman Polanski's 1974 Chinatown 1974, which raised noir to a black apogee. From 1981, the popular Body Heat, written and directed by Lawrence Kasdan, invokes a different set of classic noir elements, this time in a humid, erotically charged Florida setting. Working generally with much smaller budgets, the Coen brothers have created one of the most substantial film oeuvre influenced by classic noir, with movies such as Blood Simple and Fargo considered by some a supreme work in the neo-noir mode. Science fiction noir. Beginning in the 1960s, the most significant trend in film noir crossovers or hybrids has involved science fiction. In Jean-Luc Godard's Alphaville 1965, Lemmy Caution is the name of the old-school private eye in the City of Tomorrow. The Ground Star Conspiracy 1972 centers on another implacable investigator and an amnesiac named Wells. Soylent Green 1973, the first major American example, portrays a dystopian, near-future world via a self-evidently noir detection plot, starring Charlton Heston, the lead in Touch of Evil. It also features classic noir standbys Joseph Cotton, Edward G. Robinson, and Whit Bissell. The movie was directed by Richard Fleischer, who two decades before had directed several strong B-noirs, including Armored Car Robbery and The Narrow Margin Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Development of Tech Noir. The cynical and stylish perspective of classic film noir had a formative effect on the cyberpunk genre of science fiction that emerged in the early 1980s. The movie most directly influential on cyberpunk was Blade Runner, 1982, directed by Ridley Scott, which pays clear and evocative homage to the classic noir mode. Scott would subsequently direct the 1987 noir crime melodrama Someone to watch over me. Strong elements of tech noir also feature in Terry Gilliam's dystopian satire, Brazil, 1985, and The City of Lost Children, 1995, one of two Gilliam-esque films by Jean-Pierre Junet and Marc Caro that were influenced by Gilliam's work in general and by Brazil in particular, the other one being Delicatessen. Scholar Jamaluddin Bin Aziz has observed how the shadow of Philip Marlowe lingers on in such other future noir films as Twelve Monkeys, Gilliam, 1995, Dark City, 1998, and Minority Report, 2002. The hero is the target of investigation in Gattaca 1997, which fuses film noir motifs with a scenario indebted to Brave New World. The Thirteenth Floor 1999, like Blade Runner, is an explicit homage to classic noir, in this case involving speculations about virtual reality. Science fiction, noir, and animation are brought together in the Japanese films Ghost in the Shell 1995 and Ghost in the Shell 2, Innocence 2004, both directed by Mamoru Oshii, and the short, A Detective Story 2003, set in the Matrix universe. <laughs> 